Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is the day I am releasing version 1.5 of my F15 EX mod, and I haven't fixed the external model, and I certainly haven't fixed the cockpit yet. Still working on that. That's going to be something for version 2.0. But for right now, there are actually a lot of really cool things that I have added, so this, I think, is going to be a really, really good update. So, for one thing, we now have the outer wing pylons, 1 and 11. And you can see here, we can have AIM-120 C7s or C5s. And the C5 is basically just the stock AIM-120 C5. The C7 is a little bit better. And we can also have the AGM-88F harm control section modification HSCM. It's basically an improved version of the AGM-88C harm, similar to the AGM-88E advanced anti-radar missile that the Navy has used, but it's an Air Force missile, so AGM-88F. So we can now have those, and you will notice that they are under the air-to-air -air missiles category. Will I've already covered how that works in a previous video, but basically it's just point and shoot, and DCS thinks it's an air-to-air -air missile just so that the F-15 can fire it, because I'm using the F-15C avionics. At the end of the day, that's all I really have to work with at the moment. So, what else do you need to know? Well, for one thing, the Sidewinders are a little bit bricked. So I had to add these double Sidewinder launchers here at the bottom just to give the capability to carry them because I haven't been able to actually put them back on these upper racks just due to the way that um, I had to work around the... pylon limitations for the F-15. But they're there, so we do have AIM-9X, just not in the usual place. Of course, we can also have more AGM-88Fs, up to four of those actually. And you can have the double AMRAM launchers as well if you like. Now, pylon 9, same deal, AMRAMs, and just no sidewinders on these upper rails here yet. I'm still working on that and eventually hopefully I'll have AIM-9X Block 2 Plus on there as well. Now the fuselage stations are where things really get interesting so let's go to Station 8. We can see that we can have single AMRAMs but we now also get the Amber Rack so no more missiles clipping into the targeting pods there. So that's really nice, being able to carry two AMRAMs very close together. And they do actually eject off the rack instead of just, you know, launching off like a rail. So that's accurate. I have not done bombs for with the amber racks yet, but I have pulled another Houdini trick to get around the pylon limitations of the F-15 by adding custom loadouts like this. So now you can have four Mark 82 bombs basically on a single station. The only downside here is that they all come off at the same time. So that's just something that you have to work around. But these bombs do drop and all you have to do really is just go into the F-15's air to ground mode by pressing 7 and the bottom of the vertical line in your HUD will be where your bombs hit more or less. So I'm gonna load this thing up with some bombs. We can also have CBU-87s, but for now I'm gonna go with Mark 82s. And as you can see, we now have 10 Mark 82s loaded and I'll go ahead and put some AIM-9X on here as well. And on the center station we can have the usual fuel tank. 
We can have bombs, or we can have the Legion Infrared Search and Track Pod. Now, this is just a dummy store, very much like the Lantern Pod for the Drippin' Mod, but it's here, so what, what else can I say? I'm working with what I have, and honestly, it really kind of looks pretty cool under the F-15 like this. So that pretty much sums up what we have that has changed for the F-15 EX mod aside from the flight model a little bit. I adjusted the internal fuel to better match what the F-15 EX would carry and I adjusted the thrust output of the engines although as you can see here the engines themselves, the external model doesn't reflect that the F-110 engines that the EX should have so that's also a work in progress. So without further ado, let's hop into this mission and have a quick look at what all of this stuff does. All right, we're here in the F-15 EX mod, and I've got three things for us to do here today in this mission. We're going to shoot down some F-5s. We're going to hopefully take out a Hawk site that is otherwise going to be constantly shooting at us and we're going to bomb some buildings because realistically that's about all you're going to be able to do with this thing. It's uh, not the most precise bomber in the world. Push the range out a little bit. There they are on radar. I'm going to use TWS mode so I can get two AMRAMs away. Fox 3, and Fox 3, and that should take care of both of them, but I just want to make sure, and out over there, right around in here, you can see the buildings that we were going to be shooting at. So, we're shooting at, dropping bombs on. I've got 10 Mark 82s on board today. And I accidentally just shot a harm. better dump some flares because he could have gotten a, um, that second F-5 could have gotten a missile off. Okay, good, he's down. Alright then. Now, time to do something about this pesky hawk site. So I'm just going to select, or pr press weapon select until the, until no missile symbology appears on the HUD, so no missile circle, no AMRAM dash circle or sidewinder and then use the RWR to aim and just press weapon release. And I did that in a hurry because the Hawk Sight has launched on us. Although I'm not really expecting it to hit, the Hawk is fairly easy to defeat. Whoa, that... I saw that trail, wow. Alright, press 7 to go to air to ground mode, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this bomb drop, but you can see that line that's moving, yeah, we're never going to make that, so I'm going to pull around for another pass, but you can see that line that it, it's dashed now, 
that was right there. When I push down, it appears. When I push down far enough, it becomes solid. When it becomes solid, the very bottom end of that line is where your bombs should hit. So there's no, um, there's no pipper, so to speak, on the end of it. It's just an aiming line, but it works well enough. And here we go, lining up on this tech building. Dump the bombs off. And boom. Knocked out one of those for tech combines. All right, well, I think that pretty well showcases the capabilities of this mod in its new form, and I hope you've enjoyed it because that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more and want to support the channel. Thanks for watching.